Alright, hello people of the internet, my name is JD Shadow, and hopefully the sound issues I had with the last video on Andy Maestro are now cleared and ready to go. I actually tested this out and it's going to, at the moment, provide it that it doesn't mess up. Please, 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 I'll know when I put it into the editor. So far I've tested it out and it's perfect, so... Uh, hopefully things go that way throughout the rest of this thing. So anyway, Season 3, Part 1, Episode 3, Bakerix. Uh, Barakas Ladybug, Tales of Ladybug, Cat Noir. So I did that backwards. Okay, so, before I go any further, please like, subscribe for more Geek Gaming Culture. Also, you may have noticed I changed the background on this. I actually got a few suggestions for a few more backdrops. I will tell you who it is. Somebody on Lunatique's Discord mentioned this to me. Uh, goes by the name, if I can get this correctly, of Double J1012. That's the name they use on the, on the Discord. Not sure if that's the name they go by on the internet. I'm assuming that is the case. If you want to get your name into these reactions. If you want to do that, please be sure to hit me up with a suggestion for a backdrop of your own. Maybe if I like it and I like this is a hawk moth layer I am now in. So everybody's getting accumatized. I'm sorry. If you want that, please be sure to hit me up. I'll put your name in there. I'll credit you, of course. That haven't been said. And into part one, episode three of season three. Big Ricks. Grumpy Grandpa for the first time. Oh, leading him to commit to a villain that wants to destroy everything modern in Paris. I was going to make a joke, but seeing this how social media and the internet is in 2019, I am not going there. <laughs> I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that. I am not going to say the offensive thing. So anyway, let's go to it. Big Ricks. You've amused. It's just the news. The mayor of Paris will be unveiling... No one does train that on the... the Garden or train station. This no one does that on newscast anymore. How is the train going across the sea between France and the UK, Marinette? It's you called the underground. Been home or seen a single person for over 20 years. Dang. Why not? Uh, uh... He's because he's a caveman. Oh, last time you did that, you became a mouth. Dad, why hasn't Grandpa left his house in 20 years? Oh, uh, <laughs> because he's very fond of tradition and, uh... <laughs> wow, that was so open with that question. <laughs> Man, that came out of nowhere. Oh, seriously, why won't anyone just answer me? I don't understand one damn thing that's going on around here and why nobody can give me a simple straight answer. You're right, Tiki. I know exactly what I'm getting for my dad for his birthday. I'm going to get him and his dad back together again. I found oh, this will turn out well. Let's go. The last time you had a plan, now you don't have Chloe to act as an excuse. What are you waiting? I'm a friend? I don't have any friends. This won't be easy. He's got a pipe what as an want? intercom. Hello, sir. It's the mail lady. Do what you usually do. Throw the mail in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Roland has a granddaughter? He sure does. Why would you I should probably help you? Oh no, it's right. Can I borrow your cap? I want to play a prank on Grandpa. Hmm. Say hi to Roland for me. I'll grab my cap next time I come by. He was so willing to do that. <laughs> Why is so sure be in lying and pretending to be? Oh, uh, wow. Talk about old fashioned. We've been spending most of our lives living in an Amish paradise. Ben, huh? Are you a flower delivery girl or a nosy detective? Go on, put the bag down and be on your way. Ow. No wonder he's been a hermit for 20 <laughs> years. Holy. You, right? <laughs> Good luck with your internship, Germain. Now put the sack down and have a Germain. Look Probably doesn't meet cable standards anymore. We just watch everything on the internet now. Just as crazy as cordless telephones. <laughs> That's sad. actually I'm pretty true. That's actually liars. true. I don't need to speak to anyone. And besides, that's not how it's done if you want to talk to someone. Now put this act down and leave me alone. He must have gotten Bernard. What in the world? 
Oh. Do you live alone? In half, rhythmically, pressing it flat, snapping it slightly. <laughs> Same Guess teacher. Elasticity and develops Position. Jermaine, we're going to make some bread together. Then we'll see who's the baker and who's only good for delivering flour. Why do we got the feeling that he, she's going to win? She looks cute in that cap, by the way. See this yeast? It's been grown for over 2,000 years. By my Ew! Family. Ever since my indomitable ancestor, go for me the goat. What has it been growing in the past 2,000 years, dude? Fell alongside Vercingetorix. To be precise, it was my great, 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 grandfather. Yeah. But the Romans were tough. And started putting vegetables and cheese on the bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now it's pizza. You like pizza? You like pizza? You, Jermaine, like pizza? Doesn't, Doesn't everybody? everybody? Oh, I don't have a son anymore. Not since he betrayed me. Wow. Right, just because. Ha! Your bread won't be as good as mine anyway. Oh, wow. Be very careful with how you word that. And today is your son's birthday. Don't you want to see him again? I can't hear anything. La, 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 la. <laughs> the the mouse, the mice is like, grandfather. you I mean, idiot. Her, not grandfather. And her bread. I bet her bread is as terrible as her fat. Wow, that didn't take much, did it? I can smell the bread that's being baked with flames of fury. A perfect recipe for my akumas. Somehow, I don't know what it is about what he just oh, said, but it was just funny. Akuma. I don't know if it was like unconscious or not, but it was funny. It's not how it's done by the Dupin, the proud well, how did he... of Lofamix the Goth. How did he not get accumulated like two I am 20 hot years ago? And I see that you're hungry. Oh, of course. Would you like a butter croissant or a baguette to go with that? <laughs> no. In return, <laughs> I want the miraculous of Ladybug and Cat. And you want to vendors who don't know how it's done. So show them. You can count on me, Hulk. Okay, you want, and you want some pizza. Grandpa, pizza's good. Grandpa, I'm Bakerix, and anyone who doesn't a do giant the way they what the done, heck? Be served. Um, MLB would like to have a word with you about how you did that. I'm glad she turned off the oven before she did this because, yeah. Away with butter buttons! Wow. So this, there's a flying Superman girl in Paris now. Yep, girl and superhero. You gotta get with the times. <laughs> Look how it's done. It's up to the police or the army to carry out law enforcement, not you. Have you not seen any Marvel movies? Just minutes before the unveiling of the ultra-modern Star Train, I've been told that a super gall is wreaking havoc right here in Paris. Super gall? <laughs> it's a big giant pretzel. Stopping with... It was from ancient times. Well, we didn't have superheroes in my youth. I really want to know how she learned the Kung Fu. I really no want an episode to know how she does it. Don't worry, m'lady. I'm right here. Thanks, Cat Noir, but girls don't always need to be saved by boys. You think I'm a tad old-fashioned, don't you? Oh, I've seen worse than you. Just wait till you meet Baker X. <laughs> Thanks, Andre. What are you doing? Uh, I'm filming you. <laughs> not for Not for filming? That is not how it's done. done. An Egyptian pyramid in the king's court? But that's not how it's done! Uh, that's kind of a little, like, repetitive. And actually... We'd better destroy that flask of his. Right. That's probably where the Akuma is, too. Um. <laughs> wow. I can't believe he just did that. What's that? A train that goes underwater? Is it a train or a submarine? That's not how it's done. If you it's want to go to England, subway. you think about. Oh, there's Chloe. Finally, we see her. On that thing, and she's going to dead attack. Why'd they just eat him? Okay, this is that was cool. I liked how they did that. That was amazing. Yeah, it's a shame they didn't use that anymore than they already that they did. You should ask Queen B for some help. 
We're doing okay for now, but I'll remember that. Thanks, Chloe. Ah! Yeah, I don't think they need anybody. <laughs> now, why, why does he not just get any, like, why does he use the giant size? It's like, maybe he can OD on that thing. I don't know, but... Super chemical chewing gum, all packed between two slices of white industrial bread. Oh, stop it, Ladybug. You're making us all drool. Isn't that right, Baker X? I'm not falling for your stupid little tricks. Okay, in that case, I'll just add some tomatoes in a bottle. Mm, now this sandwich is going to taste like pizza. It's going to be so good. That's not how traditional sandwiches are done. Uh, already ABC gum. That is actually kind of disgusting. That, that's the first time I ever... Agreed with Big Rex at all? When did he call for the cataclysm? Uh-oh. Well, that's how we do it anyway. No more evil doing for you, Where, where is he gonna go? So is he gonna fall down there? He's gonna get cut up into a million pieces and die. This is gonna be the most morbid thing ever. That actually looks like a vodka bottle. My bug out. Yeah, since she has. To. Sure, you want to go home on a superhero? What the heck? Fast, but not very traditional. When Freddy's at risk, that's how it's done. One day or another, things what? will change. Like He's a big guy. How the world? Downfall will sell like power suit. <laughs> My grand could do better. <laughs> and she's dead. You're not a traditional granddaughter, Marinette. And you know what? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Roland? Wow! Hmm? Happy birthday, Dad. Now that was a sweet ending. That was a sweet ending. I like that. Okay. Uh, I don't need to talk about the ending first. That was just a wonderful ending. Just, just like, like my heart kind of melts when you see that ending. Just, it just fit. Just fit into that kind of story they were telling wow i was not ready for that just like uh, like like the kind of ending there makes it uh first thing first let's get right to the yakuma which was bakes works and his arms and legs and stuff like that were made out of bread and pretzels for somebody who wants the more traditional sense uh you want to make sure that you don't have salt on your beard oh boy <laughs> i really I, I, I kind of like this particular Akuma's design, although it was hard to tell right off the bat where his mouth was on this thing. It was like the way that he had it designed, it kind of makes, didn't make it clear as to like if it was a beard, if it was like, I, I, like what, what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be his beard actually with the viking hat and all that stuff it didn't really mesh well at first and then i kind of got it once you see it you can't you can't unsee it and the whole idea of using the yeast in order to make it, himself grow a little bit kind of made oh boy <laughs> there's a lesson to teach people because yeah i was alive doing the whole thing with the hgh and the steroid use of the mlb and stuff like that when he had the home run race and Mark wire and he got caught and then uh, later that whole thing came rushing back with people who were very very deniability of if that's the right word of what exactly was going on and i know i'm getting a little political here and this one did too and i'll get to that here in a second because i do have something i need to like address with that i I completely enjoyed the one scene in which they went into that thing with the thing spinning with the fan spinning and, and when they went into the sewer in order to get out of the Louver pyramid thing where they went into the sewer and they came back up but they used the thing 
the fan to get back up. That is not used that much. Now, we would love to see more of that kind of, like, practicability being used in this series. I don't see it that much. At least, I don't remember seeing it that much. I want to see more of it. It wasn't used that much in it. I would like to have seen it used a little bit more. The whole idea here is the modern versus classic or like modern day versus classic. that was the theme of this episode you don't stop par progress you always keep going you always try to give up with new technology always trying to come up with new ways in order to do things easier way in order to do things you try to streamline things where now you don't have to sit in front of your tv screen to get the news or you don't have to sit in front of your computer to order to get your emails and stuff like that you can always do things on the go now, much to the detriment too because now you're never just taking a breath and maybe that that's the whole i whole the entire lesson is that you never get to take a breath and you always connect it somehow and you're never just like going off the grid for a while for a full weekend and stuff like that where you're not on the grid i really like the antique way of his house though for somebody who didn't come up with the times it's kind of cool in order to have somebody who was around at that point in time where say okay these antiques, I remember they have some sentimental value, like the TV has some sentimental value. I remember having one of those TVs back in the day. Uh, the grandfather clock, I always wanted one of those. I always thought they were cool. I always thought those grandfather clocks were cool where you just like see the pendulum going back and forth. And I think there's some places that still sell those things. There was something like, or, or that dual band radio. That was, I think that's a dual band radio. I think it is. I think that's what you call them, but I could be wrong. So, there is, this is not much of the way of storyline progression, by the way. There's, I mean, I think in one of the, some of these earlier episodes, one of the, the early episodes in the season, there's not going to be much of storyline progression, like main storyline progression, like you do later on. So, I, I want to get into some of the cons of this thing, because I, th I think there's a one minor one, a major one here. Um, first things first, by the way, how strong are Cat Noir and Marinette in their in their forms because we've seen that ladybug can carry cat noir pretty easily as ladybug now we're seeing that cat noir was able to carry probably maybe a 300 pound guy on his back with ease without making sweat it's a super strength that goes with this because i haven't really seen that yet i don't think we've ever established that maybe it's established through the showing not telling but we haven't really established if there's super strength that goes with each of these superpowers that they have i've not really noticed that so maybe that's something they can they can establish at some point through like that's a understood superpower they have is the is they have like established strength the whole line of that's not how it's supposed to be done did kid did get kind of repetitive after a while i mean i know at some point they started to touch up and they started to like lampshade the idea that a lot of, that it was said a lot but it, i did kind of get tired of hearing that phrase i mean he said that almost constantly they wore out and it's good if you try to establish that that's one of his gas phrases to the point but it's not the they didn't do the same way as the chloe ridiculous utterly ridiculous that she does all the time because we they did it just enough to where you love when she says it where whereas here they just ram it down your throat that that's what he says you like like the bread it just like kind of ram it down your throat and it, and it took me kind of out of it. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna would be the only one to say it. Part of having a catchphrase is that you put it to such a degree to where okay, it's you know she's going to say it or you know he's going to say it, but at the same time, it's like kind of the main event. Like when you have like The Rock or Stone Cold back in the Attitude Era, WWE, they said their catchphrase, uh, bottom line goes so cool says so, or you, if you know what The Rock is cooking, you know at some point they're going to say it, like a once or twice or something like that. With Chloe, you know, like once the episode, she does end up saying that, where she's one of the main, one of the focal points of the episode, she does say that line, of the ridiculous line. You, 
you know she's gonna say it, but you always waiting for her to drop that line. Here, it's just, it's not working if it's forced down your throat like that. No pun intended. So the final thing I want to get into, and this is something I didn't pick up on when I first watched the episode, going back to viewing it a little bit, I kind of see now the subtlety of one particular message they wanted to go on, and then later on they kind of dropped the ball on one thing, which is the idea of social progression. And how you have to show that in a, like a television show or something like that. Where you don't really want to tell the viewer that's what they, you, the lesson you want to teach. And you don't want to do it in such a way that it makes people feel as though they're just trying to go backwards in progression. The good way that they did this is at the very beginning, and I didn't pick up on this at first, but I went back and watched it, and thanks to Luda TK for showing me this, is the idea of the grandfather not liking the kind of marriage that Marinette's parents had. And you saw it with the face-down picture there. And that, to me, was so subtle that I didn't really pick up on it. And I didn't notice that at first. To me, it was like, okay, he didn't like the progression of technology and stuff like that. That was a very good way to show that he grew naturally, that he grew, okay, I, I'm proving that this, that is not, that progression is very good in that sort of way. It's social progression, technological progression, stuff like that, where things don't always stay in that frame of mind forever. We make progress. We see that not every everybody is created evil all men are created evil, equal all women are created equal now you want to go to later on in the episode where it does seem as though they stopped the episode for a second in order to tell you something to tell you that in the way that cat noir tried to save labo from the tree which is kind of a oxymoron that it's not a cat getting saved from the top of the tree mind you and labo jumps out on our own and she says this whole line i'm gonna paraphrase this saying not all girls need boys to help them protect them which is yeah that is true and i agree with that don't get me wrong however i have seen that there are some people that will co-op a message like that first of all and will try to say oh we don't need anybody to help us we're so strong like mm, wait a minute you are strong but don't don't think that you don't need other people to help you out every once in a while because we're all human beings. We are never perfect. The way you accomplish somebody something is if you work as a team and not try to think that you are above other people. Now, and I've seen that that kind of message, especially when you try to preach it and you try to stop things in order to tell people that, to where you are essentially making people move backwards instead of forward and it's a good idea to have but you don't want people to co-op that and you don't want people to get the wrong idea by saying something like that where okay just because oh you don't need somebody to help you out in that situation doesn't necessarily mean that if you really do need that help if you really are asking for the help that you're never going to get it because somebody says oh well you didn't need the help then why do you need the help now like okay that being stop for a second so they could tell that lesson is to me a wrong way of teaching it whereas what they did with the whole thing of the interracial marriage thing was a great way to teach that and that is me saying that the ending of that was of this episode was extremely well done tom was ecstatic to see his father and that is one of the big pros of this whole thing where the ending was absolutely breathtaking. It was touching. It was well done from a storyline aspect. And the way they stopped it for a second so they could say that line was a, in the middle of the episode was, I understand it. And again, there's never a right way to say that because you see a lot of people trying to construe that message. It is saying something that you're not trying to say or people who co-opt that sort of mentality in order to run with it and go much further than what you ever intended for, for that to ever say 
And you want to be careful about doing that because we already live in a really divided world. And we, and I know the show isn't trying to do that. And, and, and they've done a really good job in showing progression instead of just telling you that you're supposed to feel that way. But as someone who has written stories that deal with that sort of thing, let me just tell you, if you do it the wrong way, then you dilute the message, you make people turn off from that message. I know there's a lot to take out of that little bit of thing, of little couple of lines there, but maybe that was too heavy handed. I'm not sure if I'm saying maybe it was too preachy. That sort, that one line was too preachy. Maybe that was it. Maybe it was the right one, right way to go about it, and one wrong way to go about it. Don't get me wrong. Both lessons are good lessons to teach, and both lessons are good lessons to be able to put into your mind. But there's also a right way to teach people that, and a wrong way to teach people that. You you don't want people to turn off because you're just stopping the show in order to try to teach a lesson or something like that. You want it to be more organic and fit in with the plot line of the show you're trying to convey. You don't want to just do that through a check of mark or something like that. You don't want to tokenize a lesson like that. You want to be able to organically tell that story to where essentially a part of the story where people are being shown that and to where if when the things are concluded and are resolved to where people will learn without realizing that they've learned something not just shoving it down and yeah again that was both lessons are good but it's just the difference of two worlds there and i'm actually kind of glad that they did maybe i'm glad they did it that way because you kind of then illustrate both sides of the coin you kind of illustrate where both sides are where where you have that wrong way to teach somebody and then the right way to teach somebody and then the wrong way to word that message as well so there's a little bit of a misfire in the way that they conveyed that message not the message itself just the way they conveyed that message okay pros of course i did like the akuma design although it was kind of hard to make out what each part was on the person's body but once you see it, then it becomes a much easier to know what the design is supposed to represent. The sequence in the sewer, that was especially cool. There was enough of that going on in order for me to say, hey, I'm satisfied with it. So, so of course, the pros and cons, of course, pros, that final scene when Marinette brings the grandfather in me his son that was one that was a touching scene that was amazing how they pulled that off i loved how they pulled that off of course the akuma is good it's good almost said great it's good not particularly great because you're, you're at first you're trying to make out the design you're trying to make out like the beard especially the beard you're trying to figure out what his mouth is and then you figure out that not only is that his mouth but these pretzel things are supposed to be his beard so it was kind of hard to make that out at first, but once you make it out, it becomes much easier to see that the Akuma, what his design is, and how they were able to use the yeast in order to be an HGH for him. Scene in the sewer, I thought that was really cool how they were able to utilize that. I'd love to see more of them doing stuff like that. There wasn't enough of that. There's usually not enough of that in the series where they use the environment to their advantage. And the message of modern versus classic. And that's supposed to pro and the con. I usually don't do that here. But I think I might do that here. I'm not sure I'm going to list this as a con. But I am going to say this. That perhaps the first part of the seasons. Are not going to really delve into main storyline progressions. Of the main storyline arc. That is going to just ease us back into watching the show. And getting used to the characters again. And as we get into the seasons. They're going to start telling, they're start going to go into some of the more heavier plot lines. By heavier plot lines, I mean ones that we know are going on right now. As we get more into the season, we're probably going to see those kinds of episodes. And here, they're just trying to ease us back into who the characters are. Because we had a lot of layoff between then, season two, season three. Season three maybe that's where they're going to, how they're going to do it. 
a little bit of a con, a major con here, is that the catchphrase where it's not how it's supposed to be done. I understand how, why he's saying that, but at the same time, I think it got worn out after a while. And finally, you want to be really careful with not necessarily the messages itself that the show's trying to convey with, but how you're telling it. Be because there was the Tale of Two Worlds there, as I said, to where you had one particular lesson of social progression where it was really well done, really thought out, and really made sense in the terms of storyline, and one where you kind of stop things for a second in order to tell people the story, a particular lesson in such a way that the wording can get misconstrued by people to make people think the wrong thing first, and second of all, to where you're taking people out of the experience, taking people out of the immersion in order to tell people that, that lesson, which is only going to set people off if you do that way too much. And though I don't think that was a major con, I don't think it really hurt the episode that much, and I think it was a great lesson to teach, you do want to be careful with how you convey that, how you convey those lessons. Able to essentially organically learn that through the course of the episode instead of just stopping things for a second in order to tell people that. Don't get me wrong, social progression and gender equality, great things in order to teach. It's just the way that they chose to implement that lesson. It's, way, it's just the way that they chose to stop it for a second in order to deliver that line. I did like this episode. I, I, I think it's just like it doesn't really move the needle as, as the main storyline progression that we saw in season two. I think we're going to see that soon because, of course, we haven't seen all of season three yet. And we're going to get to that next time. Uh, again, thank you very much to Double J. I'm not sure if that's the name you want me to use. If you want me to call you something else, please be sure to... Tell me what you want me to use. I'll and also, if you want to be someone who shows me one of these things, the the layer. There's another one that that person had shown me that I can use. So direct me to it, and I will be sure to credit you for that. And I will hopefully tell you of ways you can also get your name in here. Because I want to... Thank you very much for all the help, love, and support you guys have given me. I do appreciate it a lot. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to get off of here right now. So, ring the bell, do all that stuff. And also, look at me on Facebook. Watch. I also do, I also upload stuff there. Be sure you watch it there, especially because once I get to a certain level of use i can monetize stuff that'd be a great help for me thank you very much the next time my name is jd gender that just happened <laughs>